And welcome back to Talk of the Town. Mark Piazza is with us now. He is owner of Synergy Home Care of the Low Country. Mark, we've had you on the show before. Good to have you back. How is business? How How is everything going? Well, it's great to be here as usual, Robin. Business is very good, actually. There's mm -hmm. a great demand for what we offer. And so it's, uh, it's very gratifying to see the demand for it, but also to see people be able to get better and us to be able to help people through, you know, whatever troubles they have. Right. And with Synergy, you really have a full breadth of services that you offer. It's not just home care and, and providing caregivers for the elderly, but really throughout the entire, someone that's been to the hospital, it could be younger, a child actually, daycare. So talk about the breadth. Absolutely. And we're seeing a lot more activity on the child care side okay. now. For example, a lot of people come down on vacation and they have children or people who are local um, and, you know, they have some issues maybe with their regular child care. So we provide that type of service. But the breadth of the service goes from little ones all the way up to elderly people who want to be at home. They want help in the home and we help them to extend their quality of life. And as you mentioned, we do get a lot of people coming out of the hospital. They've had elective surgery and they just need some help for a period of time, get back on their feet. So I've asked you this before, but I, I really love hearing your answer about what makes you different from your competitors. A lot of people in your business. So what makes you special and unique? Sure, I think it's a couple things really, Robin, one of which is just our ability to really assess the situation carefully and to match up our caregivers with our clients from a needs perspective, from a talent level perspective, and a personality perspective. And that's a, there's a lot of art and science <laughs> right. in there. And we spend a lot of time up front making sure that there's a really good match. And then we also have our client care team that is in regular contact with the clients out to see our clients on a very regular basis. And so we're able to make tweaks in the care plans or tweaks if we need to, to bring in a different caregiver to make sure there's a better personality fit. So I think that makes us very but different you know, from others. When you're looking for individuals to come work for you, what are you looking for? Well, we're really looking for people who are passionate about providing care. Because if you're not passionate about doing it and you're here to just collect a paycheck, right. it's not the right job for you. So it's that passion and it's compassion for people who need help. So it's really those two things. We can teach a lot of the skills involved so it's, it's really passion and compassion. I don't think I asked you this last time, but I think your story is fascinating. How you got into this business, Mark? Tell us the kind of the short version. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, both uh, my partner Bob and I had very different careers outside of the healthcare business. So I was in investment banking. I worked with media and telecom companies for 25 years. Bob ran a national um, sales organization for a big insurance company. And so we came at it from a personal perspective. It was family members needing care parents, in-laws, um, for Bob and I and our wives, Lisa and Melissa. So, you know, we wanted to do it better and bring that passion that we had for providing care for our own loved ones to the community. So what is next for Synergy Home Care? I know you've got your your plans, your strategy for the next year, couple of years. Is it to to grow beyond just kind of the Hilton Head Bluffton area? Or what are, what are your plans? Well, great question. And yes, it is. And in fact, we opened up our Charleston office about three or four weeks ago. So we now extend all the way up through Charleston, Mount Pleasant, all the islands up around Charleston. So we really do cover the entire low country. So I think it's that sort of expansion um, and then really continuing to provide great care, adding to our team. Right. We've got great employment opportunities as we grow. So it's really geographic expansion and also expansion with you know the types of opportunities that we offer for our employees. And so did COVID affect your business this past year somewhat? You said that things are going well right now, you're mm -hmm. expanding, but have you maybe changed some of the ways you operate? Well, we. We're obviously very careful about observing all the right. protocols that are out there for COVID. But on balance, I think COVID is actually a big benefit for our business and for home care in particular, because it highlights the fact that people want to be at home. And that's where we provide care, typically in people's homes. And so, you know, people want to be at home. They want to get the care that they need and deserve. And so for our business, it's actually been a positive. Is it rewarding what you're doing now? You said you were in kind of the corporate world for so many years. Is it rewarding to you? Very much so, because we hear and see stories on a daily basis of how we're helping people, and that's exceptionally rewarding. Very good. Anything else you want to share with our viewers about your company? Well, I think that uh, you know we're always available to help people. We're here in the office. We're local. Um, we cover the entire area, as I talked about. And we just love being able to help people and to, and to make a difference in people's lives. And your website, Mark, is? It's www.synergylowcountry.com. All right. Thank you, Mark Piazza, with us again from 
Home Care of the Low Country, Synergy Home Care of the Low Country. And that's it for this edition of Talk of the Town. Thank you for joining us, everyone, and we'll see you next time.